Hello, welcome to On Print Shop. This video is about how to create PDF block templates. In this video, we will see how PDF block template is different from normal templates. So let me show you the difference between the normal template and PDF block template. So here, this one is a PDF block template. Here you can see the fields where you can just update the uh, details in it you cannot manipulate it let's say if i put the number if i update it so the only number will get changed if you want to change the location of the block or if you want to overwrite on it that is not possible so for each block these are fixed place and either you can if you want to give the font properties to edit that option is available but even though you can block each and everything so these are the PDF block templates. Instead of that, if you go to the normal design studio, so it's a completely editable. Customer can overwrite. Let's say you can lock this text or lock this position as well. But even though customer have the facility to overwrite anything over it. So these are the templates. You can move the locations and you can change the address and you can completely design it according to you. So this is the basic difference in between PDF block template and normal design studio. Next is when you need to create PDF block template. So there is a, another question like when you need to use the normal design studio templates and when you need to create the PDF block template. So generally we recommend PDF block templates are high end rule based templates which generally use for B2B clients or where there is any specific requirement of your client. In that case, you can also use PDF block template where you need to bind some rules. Next is to create PDF block templates, you must need Adobe Acrobat version 8 or above and you need to install PDF lib plugin and TET plugin. PDF lib plugin is useful to create PDF block templates and TET plugin is to find out the exact coordinates of the available text in the PDF file. Then next is how to create PDF block template. So I will show you the entire process of create how to create PDF block template and how to import it in on print shop and few general things related to it. To create PDF block template, you just need to have a basic vector PDF file and you must have Adobe Acrobat version 8 or above also you need to install two plugins named as pdf lib blocks and pdf lib tet plugins so once you have all ready then just open the basic vector pdf file then here you need to go and you need to check mark all these three things pdf block tool click object to define block and detect underlying font and color then just drag your mouse over here and create a block on this text. So as you will do this, you will open this block with you. So here it's a name. It's a customer name. So we are we can keep it as a name or we can keep it as a customer name, whatever it is. Just make sure while you are creating the block name, please don't use any special character while creating the block names. Then it's a text line. So we have to select text line. Otherwise, you can select text flow, image, graphics, and PDF depending on the requirement. Then if you expand all, so there are lots of property given rectangle. So here, these are the coordinates, the block which we have created right now, not the text, not the coordinates of the available text, the block which we have created this. So we will use the TET plugin and we will change it. Then there is a status, background color, border, then in appearance, you will see all the font properties. You can see this is the font name, the font size. So it will be automatically detected. Then there are fill colors. Everything will be detected automatically. And there are text decoration. Then there is a spacing, transparency, then text preparation, object fitting. So here there is one interesting thing. Generally in our general, In general, the text may start. Let's say if you see this, uh, this is starting from left to right. In general, we work left to right. This is also left to right. But 
generally it starts from left from this side but here in this case the all the text are ending at right instead of starting it may be starting from any this point or from this point or from this point but these all are ending at this point so what we need to do we need to end it at a uh, right side so in that case you can set this part under the object fitting here you can see the position so if you click over here and you can select this here so if you will select 100 so what does it means the text will always end at the right side so if you find this kind of business card or template you need to select this one and just okay and just click on create button so we have created this block but as i have shared this block the coordinates of the block and the text blocks are not same so what we need to do to match the exact coordinates we need to use tet plugin we need to click over here pdf tet plugin so first of all top down coordinate system this should be check marked if it is not check marked just click over here it will get check marked then you just need to click on tet tool as you will click on tet tool you can see the cursor will change select the text for which you want to find out exact coordinates right click tet copy open the notepad plus plus paste it and just scroll it up and find out the word para so where you will see the first para here in that case if you can see this is available over here the para just after the box you need to take this coordinates so these are the exact coordinates of the text which is available right now so just need to update again click over here double click collapse all and here under the rectangle you need to put the exact coordinates so i just need to copy it and pasting it and just remove the unnecessary text we just need to keep it over here the coordinates only that's it and just click on apply as i will click on apply button you will see the block position will get automatically changed so as i click on apply button can you see the block position get automatically changed in the same way you need to create the block for all the other templates so i have created the templates for all this one and here i am showing you this so here i have created the templates for all the blocks we are not creating template for this logo and for this website so this will be now there is one more concern let's say if someone will say let's say uh, the name may be longer so what we need to do in that case so what we can do we have find out the exact coordinates so we are just dragging this just keeping it here and just dragging the block just creating the block longer one so if there is any block name longer or something longer it can be covered so once you do this just select the first block press shift key and select the other blocks as well right now i am keeping it and just do right click you will see the size and width so here then again click over here and just align instead of left you can select it right so you can increase the width of all blocks so here you can see these are the blocks created once you are done with the block creation part then you have to remove the background text let's say if we will import the same template in that case there will be the if i consider this one so rebecca will be mentioned over there so if your customer will put their name so it will overwrite on rebecca so rebecca will be there in the background so what we need to do we need to be we need to create this as a blank template so for that what we need to do we need to just click over here and just add it pdf and we need to remove the all text so let's say how i am removing it let's say i am removing it like this so we are just going to remove all this text that's it now if you click over here you can see the pdf block template has been created there is a second page as well so we are not making any changes in second page or back page it will remain as it is so once we are done with this just save this file so this file name is pdf file 2 now we will import this file add this pdf block template just go to the admin 
templates product template click on add button here you need to select to which store you want to assign this so let's say we are selecting dream realtors then any department specific or we are selecting it for all department then selecting here for standard product so we will select it here for the business card so we are selecting here business card premium 2 into 3.5 then we have to put the title sample pdf template here we need to select pdf block template and just need to provide the sorting order so there is a centralized personalization lock text property and template personalization so if you want to give the customer to they can update the font you just need to disable it otherwise centralized personalization and template personalization are the parts which we will discuss later in the videos click on save and continue here you just need to upload the file which we have created click on upload button So we just created the file PDF file two. just click over there. And here you can see there is a font required. If there is any image block, the system will ask you for the image to be uploaded over here. And if there is no font available in the system, so you need to upload that font here. Once you will upload the font and image, just click on save button. As you will click on save button, the file has been uploaded. And if you go inside the manage blocks, you will see the all blocks. So right now, this is the template. If I click over here, so it's a blank template. Now, if you will fill it with the, some data, so here you can see the file is available, but right now this is a blank file. If I click on preview button, how this will look like to the customer in that way. So there is a only email is coming and rest of the things are blank. It is not clear like in which block, which name should be filled and what's the font is uh, where the title is going on. So to manage that one, let's say if there is a name block and you want to show name block under the name. So this is the title. If you will keep it over here name, click on save button. And let's say if I keep my name over here. Click on save button. And if I click on update preview. As I will click on update preview, you can see the name. If I refresh this page, so here you can see my name over here, as well as there is a tight um, block name and the inside content is available. So I have filled this data, but now the order is not correct. So what we need to do, just click on sorting order. So name would be at the very first number. After the name, there will be designation. After the designation, there will be address line one, address line two, phone, fax, cell, and email ID. So we have just sorted out the number and then just click on update preview. As we will click on update preview. So here you can see these all blocks are filled. Now, if you go at front end and refresh this page, you can see the template which has been created like this so all the data are clear and crystal clear now there are few things which we need to discuss let's say if we will keep the phone so there is a phone is also coming a customer may edit the phone or they can choose these numbers so we have the functionality of virtual block where we can convert this single block which we created in adobe acrobat into two blocks so for that, we will create a separate video for virtual block. Right now, in this video, we have just shown you how to create PDF block template, how to apply TET plugin, and how to import it in on -print shop system. So if you have any queries or concern, please connect with us at support at onprintshop.com. Thank you.